Hello everybody, welcome. So great to see you once again. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Lisa, Lisa Cho, and I just wanted to say hello to all the newer subscribers I've been having recently these days. Welcome. You know, in this video, I like to talk about our attitude when we are in unknown situations that we can just get worried or we can get confused. Somebody can just rile us up, you know, and we can just get triggered left and right from whatever scenario or people that we may come across. Well, the other day, my goodness gracious, I started out getting ready for work, having a wonderful quiet mo moment to myself just getting ready and I just got this phone call and this person was in um in just dire need and needed some uh, worried about some situations in their lives and just needed my help at that moment and then I had to go to work and at work I just been hearing so many disheartening news left and right um, somebody told me that their relative has cancer, found out they had this yesterday. Another person um, said that their husband sadly passed away and it was just a, one of those busy days. To end the day, I got a phone call from a client uh, complaining about a different situation and she was just on a rampage of complaints about something um, not about me but something else that she just had to vent out and let me know so that's how I ended the day I was filled from every direction all of these news then on top of it I was driving home from work oh almost near my house on this small road then it came to a halt there was traffic there were these cars in front of me that came to a halt. There were these big gigantic truck on one lane and a couple of cars in front of me. So I purposely kept my distance and just stopped there. Well, I was waiting there for 15 minutes. I couldn't look yonder to see what is on the other side. What is holding this traffic? Is there? Is it going to let loose? What is happening? Then I saw all the cars behind me approaching me. We were all stuck together. We're all in this together, just sitting and waiting. There was no outlet. There was only an island. And wow, how are you with scenarios like this? You know, I try to just wait there with a good attitude, being tired all day long from the day's work and hearing all these crazy news. I was emotionally tired, physically tired. Couldn't wait to get home. And then there was this halt. Think of the acronym for HALT, H-A-L-T. These are the times when the enemy, let's say, can get the best of us in our minds in so many other ways. When we're H, too hungry. When we're A, um, alone. Uh, HALT, H-A-L-T, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, not alone. A for angry. Hungry, angry, L for lonely, and then T for tired. <laughs> When you're in that state of mind, halt, you're too hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. Wow, anything could just trigger you, right? Or you're you're just at this vulnerable state. Who knows? We're just not in our right mindset. We could make poor choices and decisions in our life. But I hope and pray in this video, you may be encouraged to just wait on any kind of challenging scenarios in your life with a good attitude and with the right mindset as believers in Christ, with the joy of the Lord is our strength each and every day. You know, finally, there was a breakthrough. Somehow, some way, those big trucks, it kind of moved yonder in the midst of that because it was stuck right in front of us. So there was some activity and movement going on with other cars. Then I saw finally a breakthrough. On the le left side, there was a little small opening. So I noticed yonder, there was a couple of cars that was going and making a big U-turn into making a left into that little opening and made a left turn and a U-turn. And then the other cars follow it. So here I am <laughs> taking off, following that car with that little breakthrough, that opening that we're able to make a left turn and then go onto the other side of the road and make a U-turn. Wow. But that is how God is in our life. 
you know, during this traffic, during the unknown, we cannot see yonder. God is like in a helicopter. He knows what's going on before us, the traffic and how long it'll take. He sees the beginning and the end. And when there's a good timing where a breakthrough can happen in our lives. But the challenge is for all of us to wait with a good attitude and a good, clear mindset. That is your challenge today. I'd like to share with you a couple of verses. And it says in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything. Rather, bring up all your requests to God in your prayer and petitions, along with giving Him thanks. Be thankful always. Always have a thankful heart. Look to the good in every dire situation. Let us train our minds for that. So, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'll repeat. Do not be anxious about anything. Rather, bring up all of your requests to God in prayer and petition along with thanksgiving. Then, the peace of God will exceed all understanding, will keep your hearts and mind safe in Christ Jesus. So, our hearts and minds safe in Christ Jesus in Jesus' presence, that is the safest place to be in our lives. And the importance of our mindset, i like to share with you Philippians 4, 8. And it says, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure and lovely, admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think on such things. It takes some training habitual daily training to train our mind and look for the good in every scenario. Let us trust in God's sovereignty today. For God reigns on high. He sits on the throne. He is sovereign, ruler over all. He sees what's going on in a bird's eye helicopter view in our lives. He will put a breakthrough in dire challenging circumstances of the unknowns in our life if we just trust him in the season of our life trust in his timing knowing he is good he is always good and he has our back cast all your cares and worries cast them all to god let us learn to release and let go of any negativity any baggage any worries concerns anxieties that can lead us to even panic attacks. Let us learn to let go and release so we may be able to carry and take on the light yoke that Jesus has to offer us. For the heavy yoke is so burdensome of the world, of the laws, of the rules, of so much. Let us not take on the heavy yoke, but receive the light yoke that Jesus offers us, who will lift up our burdens and our cares and worries. He promises. He takes care of the lilies of the valleys, the birds in the air. We are much more of value and worth to God. Let us set our minds on things above. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Let us focus on kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness. You will see what we set our minds to, we attract. Over time, if we train our minds for all things good and have a praise and thanksgiving heart, we attract all things good and we're able to see everything through God's perspective in our lives. And with Easter coming up, it's all about our personal intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father through His loving Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He, he loved us so much. His indescribable love was over and beyond magnificent that He sacrificed His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for each and every one of us, for our sins, for our salvation, to have that personal relationship with our Heavenly Father, to get to know Him on a personal basis, not as religion teaches us and tells us, but only through God's Spirit. We have to learn to trust God, our Heavenly Father, in our lives. Remember your past events, how He was with you. He comforted you and helped you in your challenges. He will do that also again today. 
and there is a breakthrough coming on its way for our tomorrows. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because Jesus lives, all fear is gone. Because he knows what our future holds, it is grand and glorious. So let us just trust in the sovereignty of the Lord today. Let us have a good attitude knowing that God has our backs. Let us know that there are always hidden blessings in all of our life's challenges and ugly situations. Look for, search for, count all the blessings and write them down for God is good. I'd like to leave with you this quote that I saw. And with this pandemic and all that has been going on with the craziness of this world, global combat pandemic and this and that, I'd like to leave you this quote and it says, you relax on a plane even though you don't know the pilot. You relax in a ship even though you don't know the captain. You relax on a bus even though you don't know the driver. Why don't you relax in life knowing that God is in control? God is in control. He is sovereign. Allow Him to be your Lord and Savior today and relax in life. Accept the abundant life that Jesus has to offer. Don't allow the enemy to steal, kill, and destroy us. Let us shine our light brightly. Don't allow the enemy to diminish it in any way and fuel out the fire. No, we are made purposeful, we are worthy, and we are the prince and princess of our Heavenly Father, the King Most High, who sits on our throne, who loves us so much, so much more than what you can imagine. Trust, because he says his thoughts are not our thoughts, his ways are higher than our ways. Our minds are so finite we'll, where God our Heavenly Father is infinite over and beyond grand. Let us trust with God in our lives for He is in control and God is good. God bless you today. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.